This is a short video on uh, saving in uh, Microsoft Excel uh, 2013. I've uh, gone ahead and I've hit the uh, Save As button and I, it brings you to this menu. Now, um, if you had an older version and this version is new to you, uh, let me explain. You have uh, three choices. The first one being, um, the top one being the ability to store it in your in your cloud, uh, as they call it. Uh, so. If you have a Microsoft Live or a Hotmail account, you're able to uh, uh, get a, an Office 365 account, which allows you to store and retrieve uh, Microsoft files um, <clears throat> in a web-based manner. So if you want this file to be available to you wherever you are um, from whatever computer uh, and you want to store it in your cloud, then you would choose that. And it will probably ask you to log in with your username and password and then you'll be able to retrieve that file anywhere um, from any computer or even a, a smartphone. So that's your first choice. Um, you, you may want to add a place. Um, typically, uh, adding a place would be like a, a SharePoint um, area, maybe uh, where you work. They have their own uh, cloud where they uh, you're able to store things. So uh, you would know um, specifically where uh, you would want to go if you wanted to store in the cloud or if you wanted to add a location. Uh, now, more of a traditional place, of course, is when you store things on the computer that you're working on. So you would simply click on uh, that. So I'm going to double click here and it's going to bring me to uh, my uh, Windows Explorer type of menu. And here, from here, of course, you would choose whatever drive you want and whatever folder. So you choose the folder and uh, that you want it stored in. Uh, more importantly, I guess, uh, is, or maybe not more importantly, but more relevant to this lesson is how do you want to save this? Now, the default is uh, Excel document, of course. Now, the newer f version of Excel is, uh, it'll save it as a .xlsx document, and those can be opened in Excel versions 2007, 2010, and 2013. Uh, if you have an older version of Excel, you, you'll have to download some kind of plugins in order to, to open it. So um, there's a lot of uh, reasons why they've changed the format. Most of them um, are beyond what we need to know for this exam. So uh, just know that if you're opening it up, it'll, it'll, it used to be a .xls, but not anymore. It's .s, .xls and then another x at the end, and that would be normal. Now. From this menu, the default is just an Excel workbook. If you've uh, embedded it, if you've created a, work, uh, a macro inside of it and you want the macro to run inside of this workbook, you will have to save it as a macro-enabled workbook. Uh, if you know that you'll be opening in an older version uh, of Excel, right, uh, prior to 2007, then go ahead and save it as one of those. Most of the features um, are going to work, but some of them that never existed back then will not work. So just understand that that might be one of your limitations. Um, I'm not going to go over all of these because they're beyond the uh, what they want you to know for the uh, Microsoft uh, certification exam. So, but if you want to save it as a single web page and you want it to be able to upload that as a web page, you can, um, or a web page, you can as well. Uh, a template is basically a file that you use to create other files. So if you know that you want uh, to reuse this Excel spreadsheet and uh, you want to be able to change it once you've opened it, then rather than save it as a regular file, save it as a template. And that will force you, when you save it, to save it as something totally different. So that's what a template would allow you to do. Um, probably more popular would be uh, saving it as a PDF. Now, it used to be that if you wanted PDF, you had to use print and it would, it would give you the, the PDF menu, but now they've changed it. So now uh, it's actually a little more, more logical, in my humble opinion, that if you want to save as a PDF, you would just save as a PDF. So when you click on PDF, you get a new menu here, and it's basically uh, giving you some choices. And one of the more important choices is if you go to options here, it's asking you uh, how many pages do you want to publish and whether you want the selection, the active sheets, the entire workbook. Um, so it's giving you a lot of options here. And then when you hit OK and you hit Save, it would save it as a PDF and it would probably open it and show you exactly what it looked like. Uh, similar to uh, the PDF is the uh, Microsoft version, which is an XPS, just another um, uh, 
a portable document format that you can see on pretty much any computer or smartphone, etc. So it, it wouldn't allow you to edit the workbook. It's just a viewing uh, option, more or less. And so those are really the, the, the most important um, options when you're looking at saving. So understand that you have all of those choices.